Hey guys, today we are going to look at two cards, which are the judge promos. We have Spell Sky and Pendlehaven. Now, I do like both cards, but why are these judge promos? I remember the good days of judge promos being Gaius Kratos and things, Force of Will, things that actually had a enormous amount of appeal. How did we get to Spell Sky and Pen? Haven, which is, I think it's like $7 cards, right? Seven, $8 a piece. Uh, Spell Sky is not seeing as much play anymore, given that it's main deck that it would be played in, the main deck it would be played against. Splinter Twin is banned. So Pendle Haven, I mean, I guess it's a nice artwork. I do like it. I think it's a quality piece. I think both of these are quality pieces. However, I remember a time where Judge Promos were just insanely valuable and now they're just uh not even over ten dollars each wizard of the coast has really not done a good job uh, they have done a terrible job reprinting stuff in a video tomorrow i'm going to rip wizard of the coast on iconic masters yet again but this time i'm actually going to explain why iconic masters is so bad to summarize when you have a set and you only chase mythic, and you know, you know by the price point that you only chase mythic is mana drain, is not a four of, meaning you don't normally play as four ofs. I think it's only playable in vintage, right? And if you play in vintage, is it restricted in vintage? I know you can play in EDH, which is great, but EDH players are casual. They're not going to be the ones who are going to pay $200 a box to begin with. Um, so at the end of the day, Mana Drain was the worst choice for Iconic Masters they could have picked as the single Chase Mythic. Now, if they had multiple Chase Mythics, I mean, then it makes more sense. Like, Modern Masters 2017 had multiple Chase Mythics, so maybe one of them kind of, one of them doesn't work, but then the other ones do. I don't know. I just felt overall it was quite interesting that they had one Chase Mythic. That was a big no-no. And the Chase Mythic was Mana Drain. Out of all the things that they could have made a Chase Mythic, they made Mana Drain one. And that is quite... Mm, it's, it's surprising. It is very, very surprising uh, given the fact that it is banned in Legacy. It's legal in Vintage and it's legal in Commander. Why would they print Mana Drain? Like, why? It, it makes no sense. Like, how many vintage players do you have that would that would not already have it? Because vintage is such a small player pool, and it's already banned Legacy, so it doesn't apply for Legacy. It's not playable in Modern, of course. And Commander, I mean, yeah, maybe as a one of, but again. It just it did not make any sense in my opinion, and that's the reason Iconic Masters is just so trash. Like, no matter what people are telling you and invest in it, invest in it, I mean, come on. The prices speak for themselves. You can go on Amazon and eBay and get it for under 140 shipped to your door, expedited shipping. I mean, I don't know. The prices are the prices. You can't argue with it. Anyway, bye guys.